Hello everyone, it's your friend Brian and PS4 Trophies. A new quick and easy platinum game came out on the PSN called Ink Explosion. Ink Explosion, it took me eight and a half minutes to get the platinum trophy and I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it the whole entire thing up here for you guys so you can see it. I certainly could have done it a lot quicker because I kind of made a, a boneheaded mistake at one point, which when we get Ink to, Explosion. I will show you. Now this game is available in North America, in Europe, and in Hong Kong. It has a stacking trophy list. So if you have a PSN account in each of those regions and have PSN cards, you can technically buy this game three times. Now it is also cross buy with the Vita. Now you can see here, I already got the first trophy and we're gonna get a whole bunch of them here. But this is basically a twin stick shooter game. There is uh, obstacles you have to avoid. You can see the, the white dotted lines in the middle going back and forth. You have to avoid getting hit by those and you wanna avoid getting hit by enemies. Now again, being a, a simple twin stick shooter, it's not too difficult, very easy to understand. But what I didn't really understand initially when I started playing this is there's a, a meter at the top of the screen. It's completely full right now. As you get hit, it lowers it. Now there is also a special ability that allows you to slow down time by holding the L1 button. When you do that, it also depletes the meter. When that meter gets all the way to the left and there's nothing left, the game is over and you have to try again. Now I'm going to die here momentarily just because I didn't quite understand, wasn't comfortable with the controls, the weapons you use for each level, which is random. This one has the laser, this one, uh, as well as the laser. So we're going to have to go through this a second time here in classic mode. Now to get all the trophies in classic mode, you have to reach 100,000 points and then you also have to reach level 10. Distance gun. So there we go, uh, go we died. So I'm going to go reach 100,000 points here. And the best way to do that is to kill enemies without getting hit. Each time you kill an enemy without getting hit, it'll increase your scoring multiplier get hit of course it'll reset at one so to build up a high score you want to uh, build up that combo meter as high as you can and the points will really come in pretty quickly reaching that hundred thousand point mark is not very difficult if you're having difficulty you can always slow down time by hitting l1 to avoid getting hit by a projectile but again be careful of the meter at the top of the screen because if that completely depletes your game is over. Again, killing enemies will increase that meter. Getting hit or using this, uh, the slowing time mode will decrease that meter. So we are already at board six here, level six. And my multiplier is over 20 here, so we're gonna reach 100,000 points really quickly. Now I made an absolutely boneheaded mistake. Forgetting that I have to reach both 100,000 points and reach level 10. So reach there, right there, I earned the trophy for hitting 100,000 points, and so now I'm just killing myself, forgetting to get to level 10, killing myself so I can jump into arena mode. So at the very end of this video, we're gonna have to go back to classic mode, but here in arena mode, this game mode is relatively simple. All you need to do is kill 100 enemies. Your points, your combo, and none of that matters. Just stay alive, again, watch the uh, meter at the top. I just used this, the time slow mode and you can see that my meter went down. The killing enemies will build it back up. So we're just going to reach 100 kills here and then I'm going to go to hard mode. Hard mode is actually a little bit more difficult. It's a challenge, but there's only one trophy and you simply have to kill one enemy in hard mode. So it's a really simple trophy to get. Now, as far as cheap and eat, well, cheap, it's $4.99, so it's not a dollar, not like my name is Mail or Slide. But as far as the cheap, the easy, quick Platinums go, this is a little better of a game. This is an actual game. It just has a real easy trophy list tied to it. It doesn't have online leaderboards, unfortunately. But there is a stat tracking screen in case you want to try to beat your own personal high score. Now, the cool thing about this is each uh, when you start off, it has a blank canvas and every time you kill or anytime you shoot your gun or anytime you kill an enemy, ink will splatter on the screen. So the background is going to be completely unique to your individual game. It's kind of a, a neat little uh, visual thing. It's a very colorful game. No one can deny that. But no one can also deny that it's not an easy platinum trophy. It really is. And I don't use the, the slowing time mode very much. Mostly because I was afraid of the meter. So we're already up to almost 50 kills here. 
Again, each time the, the enemies respawn, just like in classic mode, you'll be uh, given a random gun. The shotgun that I'm using here is my favorite. It's the easiest to, to kill off the enemies. But you always want to make sure you just kill that first enemy real close to you as fast as you can because those projectiles can get up on you uh, real quick. So you take care, uh, take out the first one real quick and it makes the rest of the, each board uh, easier. So we're up to 64 kills. And then after this again, we're going to go to the hard mode. The mode itself is a little bit more difficult. But as far as trophies go, again, just get one kill. Not very difficult. So I'd imagine uh, if you're good, you can get the platinum trophy in this in probably seven minutes. Maybe even as quickly as six minutes. And there is obviously replay value if you want to go and try to beat your own personal high scores. Shotgun. So just, uh, we got 20 more here. Sometimes it's a little difficult to see the projectiles just because everything is white. The background, of course, is colorful, but the projectiles, the enemies, you, your own weapons, everything's white. A little bit of a challenge there. All right, so this should be the last board. Once I reach 100, once I get the trophies here in arena mode, I will just kill myself. And go to hard mode. Explosion. Hard mode again, just kill one enemy. That's all you need to do. So at this point, if I wasn't uh, an idiot earlier on and just reached level 10, which I almost nearly did, I would have had the platinum trophy. Takes me a minute here to realize. So let's go ahead and check the list. Of course, I told you what it is already. Reach uh, level 10 in classic mode. It only takes a couple minutes to do that. So let's go ahead and jump in there and do that. Distance gun. Game start. Just have to exit and go back to classic mode. Rocket gun. Game start. So again, it is available in North America. It's available in Europe as well as Hong Kong. Also available in the, on the Vita in each of those regions. And it is cross buy. So for $4.99, you're going to get both the PS4 and the Vita version. So you will get two platinum trophies for the price of one. Shotgun. Level three here. Some of the boards, you'll notice that the, uh, the barriers that pop up in this one is just kind of spinning and there's a hole in the middle. But sometimes the barriers will actually close in on you and eventually squeeze you. So you have to kind of be quick with with killing the enemies. Here is an example where I'm pretty much going to be timed. I will be pushed into a corner. But you have plenty of time to, uh, to kill everything. Level 6, level 7. Again, having the 100,000 points already makes it just makes it easier for me just not have to worry about the combo. Shotgun. That was another one where you were going to get kind of pinched in. Distance Shotgun gun. makes things easy. You go through a lot of these in just a matter of 5-10 seconds. Laser gun. And level 10, here we go. There's the platinum. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you found the video fun, hit the like button, of course, subscribe.